She wanna, she wanna do it in the closet. Oh, she wanted to do it in the closet, y'all. When I tell you, I lasted three strokes. I lasted three strokes, bro. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jazz Three. Like that, another banger, man. So before we get into today's video, I gotta give a huge shout out to Jazz Three Gang. We just hit 50,000 subs on YouTube. Words can't really describe how I'm feeling right now, man. I'm super grateful. I'm super appreciated for all my loyal supporters. If you watch my videos, like my videos, comment, watch the ads, all that stuff, man. This shout out goes out to you. Y'all could really change my life one day, man. I just got an apartment. Things are starting to all come together, but all I need is you guys by my side. You guys will be the reason I will be up there one day. This is just a start right here, y'all. I'm ready for bigger, better things, and I want to bring y'all with me. I want to bring the camera with me. I want to bring you guys everywhere I go. My life journey, man, that's what it's all about. So I just want to give a huge shout out to you guys. I really do love y'all. And like I said, man, I just got this apartment. I will be doing an apartment tour soon. 500 likes, drop some comments, I might do it. But also, I will be revealing my roommates. So let me know down below in the comment section right now, who do you think is my roommate at my new apartment? I want to know what y'all think. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I just really wanted you guys to know that liking the video, commenting on the video, watching all the videos, sharing it, it really helps put my name in the YouTube algorithm and that's what's gonna help me grow. So right now, I need you guys, if you're watching, if you've never liked one of my videos before or you've never commented on a video, I want this to be the first one. Like the video right now, talk back to me. I'm gonna be giving y'all a story time. So as I'm giving y'all this story time, give me feedback in the comment section, man. Like I read all my comments. If you didn't know that yet, I read all my comments. So give me feedback while I'm talking to you guys. Like this video so I can be put out in the algorithm. Let's keep growing, man. Like I said, this is just the start. I wanna bring you guys with me everywhere and we only gonna get bigger. That's enough talking. The reason why you are here today is because of the title of this video. Now, go look at the title real quick, man. I will be telling you guys the long-awaited story time of how I lost my virginity. Now look, I dodged this question two times, I'm not gonna lie. I dodged it two times, but I feel like I just hit 50k subs. Why not give you all the 50k special? So. I'm gonna give you guys the whole story time. And hold on, before we get into this, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is like 3.30 right now. It's 3.30 in the morning, so bear with me. I can't be too loud. I'm gonna just, we all just gonna sit back vibe and I'm gonna tell you all this story time, man. But I'm gonna sit back real quick. So for the story, y'all gotta know who was in the story, man. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now, basically, obviously it was me. Come on now, it was me. And the girl was a ninth grader. Her name was, I'm not gonna give y'all her real name. We just gonna call her Alyssa. So Alyssa was a Mexican. She was, y'all know I like my Mexicans now. Come on now. And she was in ninth grade. I was in eighth grade. I know that's young. I was what, 13, four, 13 or 14, Josh? Come on now, man. But I know I was young and I don't even think she knew I was in eighth grade. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't think she knew I was in eighth grade, but hey, we still pulled them. Now, at the time, I was young, like I said, but I had older friends, man. And my older friends, dudes were going crazy. And I'm over here, I'm over here always hearing the stories and stuff. So I'm like, man, I need to find this out for myself. So they were like, they were like good older friends. And I want this video to get monetized, so I don't really know how to say this, but I'm gonna try to be as clear as possible and Y'all get the point, man. I'm just trying to get some money off this video. They basically gave me a pack of condoms at the time. I didn't know I was going to use them. I didn't know when, where, how, how to use it. Like, I really didn't know any of this stuff. But now, since you got a little background of the story, I'm in eighth grade. She's in ninth grade. She's Mexican. She got booty. She got cake. And she wasn't the cutest. Like, she wasn't ugly. Don't get me wrong. She wasn't ugly, but she was, like, not the cutest. Like, she was cute, but not bad, bad. But, hey, she had booty. So, I'm over here in eighth grade. Now, every day after school, I would have to wait for my mom to pick me up at the library. I'm in eighth grade, so I'm in middle school. She's in ninth grade. She's a freshman. Her high school's here. There's a library in the middle, and then there's a middle school here. I'm here, but after school, I would always go to the library because I had to wait for my mom to pick me up. But the thing is, she would have to wait at the library, too, because... Her parents picked her up. Now, I would always see her after school, 
and we just never talked because I don't know. I felt like she's in she's in high school. Like why would she talk to me? And randomly one day, some weeks pass all this time, and she usually hangs out with people at the library after after school. But then it came to a point where like her friends started getting picked up earlier and all this stuff. And before I go further, I'm gonna just let you guys know this story might be all over the place, y'all. So just bear with me, man. If I miss something, I'm gonna go back and say it, and then I'm gonna come back where I left off. But at the end, y'all gonna get the full story. Y'all gonna know what I'm talking about. So some time goes by. She always goes to the library. I'm always going to the library. I be kicking it with my boy, just chilling and stuff. And she be kicking it with her friends. But then it got to points where it would just be like me and her, but like we wouldn't communicate. And like I said earlier, I don't know if she knew I was in eighth grade and I still don't think she knew, but some weeks passed and then she finally comes up to me, man. Like damn, after all this time, she finally came up to me. And like I said, the reason I didn't is because I was the little dog. I was a little boy, man. I didn't know if she was messing with it. So she came up to me. We started talking like on some friendly stuff and I ended up getting her kick, man. Now. You guys should know what kick is. If you don't know what kick is, you were, you were a little baby. You were a little baby. But there was kick was popping at the time. We weren't texting on iMessage, on Snapchat, none of that. It was kick. So I then got her kick. And then some more time passes by. I'm over here texting her from home now. Like, like talking to her, trying to pull her and stuff. Spitting my little game at her. Because y'all know I still had game back then, man. I was still pulling the biddies. I was still pulling. Chantel, if you're watching this, let them know I got the game, man. Let them know in the comment section. But I'm at home now, spitting my game on kick, talking to her. Some more time goes by. And now after school, we're at the library. And I don't know why she never asked my classes or anything. But after school, we're now at the library kicking it with each other, waiting for waiting to get picked up. So some more time passes by. And now this is where we really about to hop into the story. That was a little bit of background, all right? So now basically it's getting to the point where I'm kicking in with this girl every single day after school at the library. And randomly one week, it was a Friday. I remember this so clear, bro. It was a Friday and she told me her parents were going to Tahoe. Now Tahoe is a place where you could like rent out cabins and like snow houses and all this stuff. And it's two hours away from where I live. So she was like, yeah, my parents are going to Tahoe this weekend. Like I said, I'm a little boy, bro. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what she's trying to say. So she's like, my parents are going to Tahoe and my older brother is always at work. Like he always works from here to here. He won't like be home. So I'm like, all right, that's, that's cool. Like, what are you trying to do? Cause I really don't know. And then she was like, my parents are in Tahoe. I'm like, what are you trying to say? Like, what are you trying to say right now? So I didn't get the point, but then obviously she was saying like, come over type. So I'm like, all right, man, I call up my mom and I tell her, mom, I'm about to stay the night at so-and-so's house. Like after school, I'm going straight to their house with their parents. They're going to pick us up, I'm going to their house and I'm staying the night there. My mom's like, all right, cool, whatever, stay safe, all this stuff. And right now, bro, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm about to go kick it at her house. We about to chill. We end up walking to her house, man. And something that I noticed was her house wasn't too far from mine. So this is a key point. Keep this, y'all gonna need this later in the story. Her house was not too far from mine. Like it's far, like you would still wanna get a ride there, but it's not hella far. So we're walking to her house. We finally get there, I'm chilling. And like I said before, I was hanging out with the big dog. So uh, that sounds so weird. I was hanging out with my older friends and they were like, they gave me condoms. They gave me a pack of condoms. So I always had it in my backpack because I never wanted to take it out when I was at home. So I always had it in my backpack. And I guess today was the day I was about to use it, man. So basically we're, we get to her house. It's literally just me and her, um, no parents to worry about. Her brother's at work, so I'm chilling. We go to her room, we're, we're kicking it, we're chilling, we're just doing our thing, laying. On, I was laying on the bed, I remember. But I remember this stuff so clear, that's the craziest part. But we're chilling, and then, you know, some time goes by, and we start getting into stuff. And like I said, bro, this was my first, no experience at all. I was a rook, I was a rookie. I didn't know what the hell was happening. So, no experience at all, we start getting into things, man. And bro, when I tell you, I think she sucked the I I think she sucked the soul out of me. I can't 
I think she sucked the soul out of me, man. I think she was experienced. I didn't know what the hell was going on, man. I think she was experienced, bro. But, man, this is crazy to think about now. So, mind you, I'm in eighth grade. She's a whole freshman. You know how much of a savage I felt like I was, bro? But let me keep going. So we get there, we get into the things, we start chilling, we, we're, we're getting into it, man. When I tell you this girl was sucking the soul out of me, I'm not, y'all, I wouldn't lie to y'all. This girl was going crazy. She was literally going crazy. So in my head, I'm like, yo, I am not gonna be able to do this, right? So some more time goes on. She giving me the, the God, she was going crazy, all right? Simple, she was going crazy. And now it's time for the, it's time for the, ah, you know, it's time to really get to business, man. And look, I had the condoms, bro, but I ain't know how to put them bitches on. So look, I had to go to the bathroom, pull up a YouTube video. And I remember this so clear. This Asian girl was putting it on a cucumber. What? On an uncut cucumber, bro. And the video helped. I'm not gonna lie, the video really helped. So I go, watch that real quick. I'm over here typing how to put on a condom. I'm watching the video, learning how to put it on real quick. Boom, I go back to the room, get back into the business, and I put it on, bruh. And when I tell you I lasted three strokes, I lasted three strokes, bro. This girl had Cardi B WAP. Oh, she had WAP. Okay. I don't know. Oh, he needs I some knew milk. what WAP was at the time. This was it. It was my first time being in something, bro. I was I was swimming in that I was going crazy. But it was fast. It was fast, bro. So I, I go, ah, ah, ah. Three, three quick pumps and I'm done. I'm out. I was finished, bro. And tell me why. Look, 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 look. I finished, right? And this girl gonna tell me. Mind you, I'm a rook. I don't know any of this stuff. She gonna tell me, let me know when you're ready to go again. Let you know what? She said, let me know, round two? I'm, bro, at this point, I'm flabbergasted. I don't know what the hell is going on. I felt like I just, I felt like I just lost my soul for a second. And then she gonna tell me, let me know when you're ready for round two, basically. That's what she's saying, bro. So I'm like, damn, bro. Like, you know I'm in eighth grade, right? Nah, I didn't say that, but I, in my head, I'm like, yo, is this bitch experienced? Like, have you done this? But how many times have you done this before? Like, please let me know. Like, how many times have you done this before? So I'm tripping, bro. I'm like, all right, yep, I'll let you know. I can't be no, I can't be no girl about it. I can't be no, I can't go out like no bitch. So I'm like, look, man, give me like 30 minutes. I'm just laying on her bed. I'm like, I'm dead, bro. I'm dead. She done killed me. She done killed me damn near. 30 minutes goes by. Mind you, I went to her house after school. So it's probably like, 5 30 or four. we got out at like three took 30 minutes to walk there it's probably like 5 5 30 right now i don't know the exact time i don't remember but she tells me that she says let me know when you're ready for round two so in my head i'm like all right i'm gonna let you know man i'm gonna let me just regenerate real quick let me recoup let me recoup let me let me gather up y'all got some you got some gatorade bitch let me gather up so basically i'm chilling now some time goes by, I wanna say 30, maybe even 45 minutes, man. I had to really just, I had to, I had to, what's it called when you're trying to like figure out what's going on, man. I had to really just figure out what's going on. And I'm like, all right, bro, we about to do this again, right? So now it's time for round two, y'all. I was ready, I was ready, I was ready, I'm not gonna lie. So boom, put the rubber on again, all right? We ready, I'm ready to go. Now this time, I was going crazy. I'm not even gonna cap. I was going crazy and it wasn't no three strokes. I was in there. I was in there. But this is where the part gets juicy. Her brother came home early from work, bro. This man came home early from work. I hear a front door open. I'm like, bro, what is that? Like, I, I'm gonna go hide in the closet. She talking about keep going, keep going. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm going to the closet. She's like, keep going. Keep. I'm like, I'm like what the f What am I supposed to do, right? So I told her, hell no, I'm going to the closet. Real, like your brother is literally home. So I get up, grab my stuff, go into the closet. She talking about, I'm gonna go in the closet with you. At this point, I'm shocked, bro. 
You gonna come to the closet with me? So I'm shocked. We're in the closet and it's, she wanna she wanna do it in the closet. Oh! She wanted to do it in the closet, y'all. Like, talk to me in the comment section right now. The second time in the closet? I'm in eighth grade. Alyssa, Alyssa, I'm in eighth grade, bro. Are you, ex how experienced are you? So we go into the closet. Her brother is in the house now. Big ass dude, Mexican dude. You know them, you know them big Mexicans I'm talking about, them them thick built ones. So I'm like, all right, I gotta, I gotta go. I'm, mm, 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 I'm trying to go quick. I'm in there, bro. I finish, right? I finish and her brother starts knocking on the door, but I'm dead quiet now. Like I literally just got quiet. So I'm here quiet. He knocks on the door, opens it. As he opens it, she's throwing stuff out the closet as like she got dressed real quick. She put her sweats on, she put her little sweater on, zipped it up, and she's throwing stuff out the closet as if she was like cleaning out her closet. I'm like, oh my God, this bitch clutch. I'm like, this bitch is clutch. So she's throwing her stuff out the closet. Her brother's uh, knocking on the door and then he opened it. She's throwing the stuff out and he asks her, hey, what do you want to eat? And she's like, oh, you came home early. Like she's talking to him as if not, she talking to him as if I didn't just clap her. <laughs> Bitch was experienced. She was, she was experienced. She was experienced. Yo, thinking about it now. Alyssa. I know that's not your name, but if you watching this right now, all right, y'all, my bad, the camera died. But basically, like I was saying, she was experienced, bro. So she starts throwing the clothes out the closet. And bro, the way she was playing this off, I tell you, she was an expert. She was a pro. She was an all-star, a superstar. I don't know. Her brother comes in and asks her what she wants to eat, bro. When I tell you, I was scared for my life. I'm looking through the peephole I'm, or through the crack. You know the crack of the closet door? I'm looking through the crack. I couldn't see him, but I, I was peeking, bro. I was really peeking. I was trying to see if I could see him, but I couldn't. He asked her what she was trying to eat. She ends up telling her what she wants to eat, all this, blah, blah. Yes, he came home early. She asked him and he like kind of ignored the question. And I'm being dead quiet. Mind you, dude was big. I'm not lying to y'all when I say he's big. Like I've seen him before. So then after he finds out what she wants to eat, he goes back into his room, and once I hear that door close, I told her, I'm like, bro, take me to the front door, and I'm sprinting my ass home. Now, mind you, I told you guys in the beginning of the story, when we were walking to her house, I realized that her house was not that far from mine. So I get to the front door, I got my socks on, I'm tiptoeing, I'm quiet, throw my shoes on, sprint. Once I was out that door, I sprinted my ass home, and I did not stop. When I tell y'all I had the adrenaline, I had, I was not tired. I was sprinting my ass home. Three blocks later, I'm finally home. And mission was accomplished, man. Your boy JS3 done lost his virginity to a girl in high school. And y'all might think that's not, bro, I was in eighth grade. How many of y'all can say I clapped a high schooler? All right, I went two rounds with a high school, with an expert. She was an all-star bro she she played in the all-star game last week she was in the nba she was a pro all right i smacked them mission is accomplished and that's basically the full story time of how i lost my virginity now don't get me wrong i probably missed out on a lot of details that i can't really remember off the top of my head but after watching this story time i'm probably gonna be like damn i forgot this this and this but hey man off the top I feel like that's the best I can give you guys. Now, if y'all like this story time, drop a like on the video right now. I want you guys to really smash that like button for this video. This is a 50K special, man. This is for you guys. I'm doing this for y'all. I'm gonna put in the work, but I need the response, man. Drop the likes on the videos, comment, share, watch the ads. It really does help me, help me pay for this apartment, man. But look, if you guys want more story times, let me know in the comment section. Please talk to me in the comment section throughout this video. I really wanna know feedback, what you guys would do in certain situations, certain scenarios, like talk to me. Let me know if I did anything wrong. But hey, I feel like as an eighth grader, that was a dream come true. That was really a dream come true. And think about it now, like bro, 
it, it's kind of don't go out there don't go start clapping biddies bro i'm telling you don't do that that's not the right i was around the older kids and it was just something that ended up happening man don't go out there and be like oh this he did it so i gotta go clap some cheeks now nah don't do that man but i was in eighth grade she was in ninth grade Hey, you know what's crazy? Imagine if she's watching this story time right now, bro, because I still live in the same city. If you're watching this story time right now, bro, yeah, you probably ended up finding out I was in eighth grade, right? You should have, but that's pretty much gonna be the end, y'all. I really do hope you guys enjoy. If you guys want more story times, please drop them in the comment section. Let me know what you guys wanna talk about, and if I've gone through that in my life, I'll give you all the story time on it, man. That's going to be the end of this video. I love you guys all so much. Thank you for 50K once again. And like I said, this is just the start. I'm trying to see 100. I'm trying to see a meal, too. I'm trying to keep going, man. So keep on rocking with me. I'm going to keep on bringing the content for you guys. I love you guys so much. It's your boy, JS3. And we out of here. I'm too rich to act like I was broke.